Good morning, another Monday quickie. Now, a couple of weeks or so back, I think it was the Stinchcombe Hill video, but I mentioned how good it is to hit your own balls on a practice ground off turf. And it is, it's the best way of practicing. Driving range, crap balls, nylon mats, no good. So uh, I, got a, I got a strange comment and what it said was, not everybody can afford to hit their own balls on a practice ground. Which kind of left me scratching my head a bit because on a practice ground, you're not hitting the balls from out of your golf bag. Look at me, I'm steaming up with uh, walking up this hill. What you're hitting is stuff you find in here. Every golf course has got four or five holes at least that the slicers love to leave their golf balls in. Even pro, brand new Pro V1s I find in here. Now this is the right hand side of 18. It is very heavily pr patrolled by lots and lots of people. So if you do better than a dozen, you've done okay. And the leaves are down. So that's all I've done is a, is a dozen today. But there's a spot on the practice ground, uh, there's a spot on the back nine where nobody goes. And nobody goes in there because the grass grows this bloody high in the summer and it's all brambles and prickles. So since last winter, nobody's been in it looking for balls. Now I might be a little early. It might not have died back enough for me to find a lot of golf balls, but I'm expecting to get over a hundred balls out of this today, if it's died back enough. Now I gotta walk up the damned hill. Good grief, I'm getting too old for this. I'll tell you what, timing is everything in this game. Five seconds after I switched the video off, big bang in the treetops from off the 18th tee, a Pro V1. But I'll be giving it back to him, don't worry. I don't take other people's balls that they've just hit. I only pick up the ones that have been abandoned for a few days. So let's, let's go find him and give him his ball back. 17th pond. Now it's too deep and it is too murky and it is far too dangerous to go in that. It's part of the irrigation system. This is what I'm interested in. All this rubbish all the way back to the 17th tea box. And here we are. I am now, believe it or not, 70 yards right of the middle of the fairway. Somewhere out there. Right then, guys. Why do I always say that? I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. I'm calling it a day. I'm here about six or even eight weeks too early. It is so dense in here still that they're proving difficult to find. So I've only done about 60 balls. One thing I can say from what I find, TP5 players aren't as good as you think you are. Strixon players aren't particularly good either, but the very worst are people who play Callaway. All I find in here is Callaway after Callaway after Callaway. You need to get some golf lessons. And if anyone takes that seriously, well, you're as crazy as me for wading around in this stuff. Ta-ra. Right, because I didn't get a good haul in front of 17 there, because the grass was just, it hasn't died back yet. I've got to, um, got to wait another six or eight weeks before that dies back. Get in there in the beginning of January and there's a there's 100 balls and more in there, if you can reach them. The trouble is it's mostly brambles now. So that's what 97 balls looks like. Now I've got to grade them. So there aren't many Pro V1s in there. Don't, don't think that that is that pile you've just seen is full of Pro V1s. It's not. There's about, out of the 97, maybe seven, seven gamers. So I'll be able to uh, add to my bag. There'll be about 30 or 40 practice balls. 
and the rest will be junk. So essentially I will, I've added 40 practice balls to my pile so that when the practice ground opens in the spring, I got enough balls. So if you want practice balls, they don't cost you money. They cost you a couple of hours after a round of golf. Go out to those favorite places that all the slicers love. Bet this video gets loads of down votes. Ta-ra. I gotta say for quality, this is probably my worst haul. I've ended up with six decent Pro V1s, some TP5s, a couple of Q-Stars, and some Kirklands. But a lot of this is junk and is going to end up going down the driving range. I'll hit it once and never see it again. Tight list, the number one ball in the woods.